So I'm doing this voiceover again because I wasn't recording the first time. (sighs) I swear, sometimes I'm like, maybe I shouldn't even try to make videos because I'm clearly not prepared for this life. (laughs) So today I am just wanting to work in my small glue book. It's about six by eight inches. You'll see me measuring it in a little bit because I couldn't remember, um, how big it was when I was cutting down a piece of paper, but I got this book at, I got it in a three pack from Barnes and Noble and I think I got them on clearance. Um, and I thought they would be good to have on hand and I decided I was just going to use it as a glue book. Um, I'm really just trying to whittle my stash down, which is an impossible feat because I have so much stuff. I have almost 30 years of art supplies just accumulated and every year I swear I'm not going to buy more and then I do. Um, Or I swear I'm not going to keep magazines because I already have enough images cut out and then I flip through a magazine and I see images that I really like and then I end up cutting out more. So I'm trying really hard to, to use what I have. Fussy cutting is not my favorite thing. So if there's bigger images that I like, I prefer those like cutting out, you'll see, I haven't finished cutting her out, but cutting out around her hands and all the details, it drives me insane. I'm learning to appreciate it more and to use my fussy cutting time as kind of a time to decompress, but in all honesty, it kind of gives me anxiety, especially around little tiny details. So if I can import an image into my silhouette and cut it that way I will, but with these, that would that would be too much work, so I just cut them by hand. Um, this image is from Click Magazine. It is a photography magazine that I subscribe to. I'm a photographer, if you didn't know. Uh, to be honest with you, I only get it for the inspiration and to see what new products are out. Very rarely do I read any of the articles in there. And as of late, because I'm really into this glue book art journal thing, I really look at the images in a different way now. Um, And this image I thought was really cool. It it inspired me, so I decided that I was going to put it in my book. Um, So you'll see uh, me using a corner rounder. For some reason, I tend to buy books that are all with rounded corners. And of all the corner rounders I have, none of them are the right size. So um, this is a Somerset Studio magazine. And I got lucky on the second thing that I flipped to and found this piece of paper, this art paper. I rarely use it, the art paper in these magazines. So I'm pretty proud of myself for using this one. And the colors go perfect. Um, I'm just going to trim it down a little bit and get it to fit on the page. Again, just trying to whittle whittle my stash down because I have so much crap, honestly. I wish I had crafty friends closer to me so that you I could let you come shopping in my craft room. Um, for those of you that don't know, I'm trying to downsize and travel full-time for the next year or so, and I can't take it all with me. And I live in the desert, so putting a lot of this in storage doesn't make sense, especially things like the paint and stuff that I'm not going to take with me because it'll just go bad unless I splurge and get a climate-controlled storage unit. Um, so I haven't decided what I'm going to do there. You can see that that doesn't fit all the way down to the bottom, but that's okay because the focal image is going to cover it. So I'm just trimming off the excess to make it fit a little bit better and rounding that corner. And then I am using Distress Ink in a second here. Um, Yeah, Distress Ink, I'm using old paper. It matches pretty well. And I think I put Distress Ink on everything. It's like my go-to. It's almost time to get a new sponge for that dauber kind of falling apart and then I'm just using my purple Elmer's glue which I absolutely hate and I'm trying to use it all up because it doesn't hold for nothing I have maybe it's because I live in the desert but I have things that I've made with this glue and after a couple months it just falls off 
It's like the glue dries up and nothing is connected anymore. So I go through a lot of glue because as you can see, I, I am an edge to edge gluer. So I do go through glue pretty quickly. I just, I can't handle it when it's not glued from edge to edge. I don't know what that is. Um, when I see other videos and people are using glue, I'm like, oh my God, you didn't use enough. Use more, use more. <laughs> uh, it's, it's their deal, not mine. It's none of my business what you use. I don't know. It's just a weird pet peeve that I have. And then I find like this glue dries. It's got to be the climate that I live in because it dries so fast when I'm putting it on. You can see it going from purple to clear. And then once I put that down, I have to go back and add more glue under her arm and under some of the smaller areas where it, that, I mean, I've got the video on two times speed, but it still wasn't that long from putting the glue on to attaching it to the paper. So I think I have one or two more sticks of this glue. I bought it like two years ago during back to school shopping. And I haven't been able to use it all because I keep like putting it to the side and using better glue or different glue and like, all right, I just have to use it. I just have to use all this stuff because I don't want to throw it away and I don't want to waste it. So that's my mission lately is to go through what I have and use what I have. Now I'm just looking for something, some words or something like that to put on this page. I normally wouldn't do the same kind of words that are on the left hand side um I don't know I just normally wouldn't do two pages side by side with the same quote type thing but again just trying to use what was in the little bin next to me so these I think are from S calico collage if I'm not mistaken I can't find the file on my computer to tell you for sure um, so if somebody else knows what, what they're from, please comment, let me know. And I like these because the way they're spaced, they're specifically created to say certain things and then you can cut them apart and stagger them like they are on the left. But I didn't like any of the sayings for this page. So it took me a few minutes to kind of do, figure out what I wanted it to say. So you can do whatever you want with your supplies. It drives me insane when I see YouTubers with videos, again, another pet peeve, and they use the clickbaity tile like, or title that says something like, these mistakes I made when art journaling, don't make these mistakes, don't make these 10 mistakes, or how I fixed these mistakes when I was bullet journaling, or whatever. And you know what, that drives me insane, because there is literally no rules when it comes to art journaling or journaling or any kind of art it's your art sure are there when you're like a like a fine artist are there things that you should probably rules that you should probably try to stick to maybe but again it's art you do whatever the heck you want it's your book. It's your art. If you want it to say something inappropriate, put something inappropriate and who cares what anybody else says. If you want to mix all the colors and make mud on your page, that's your prerogative. It's your art. Stop telling people what to do and how to create art. Just because it doesn't fit what you do doesn't mean it's wrong. And just because you don't like what somebody else does doesn't make it wrong. That's just kind of my rant on this. It's just I spend a lot of time watching videos and, and things like that. And every once in a while, something will pop up on my feed. And I'm just like, Ugh, stop telling people they're doing it wrong. Who are you to say they're doing it wrong? If you look at some of the most famous artists out there that have ever existed, a lot of people think their art is crap. And to be honest with you, some of it, in my opinion, isn't the greatest, but you know what, they did what they wanted to do and people pay millions for it. So who knows, maybe someday your art journal will be worth millions. Here's to hoping, right? So I think once I finally settled on the words, I ended up 
making it say, I don't remember. Um, let me open it back up. It says, oh, own your journey. So yeah, I just took pieces of, of each of those little tiny words and edged them with ink and glued them on the page. It's funny, while I was gluing, I was having a heck of a time getting my art glitter glue out of my bottle and I was watching AJ's Inspired Life and her latest video and she was all excited because her art glitter glue came out really easy and I was like, oh, brag about it, why don't you? I think it's time for me to get a new bottle or something because it's getting clumpy and it's not coming out so great. And I know glue has a shelf life. Um, and I'm pretty sure I've had this bottle for over a year and a half, maybe a year. That glue, I do like our glitter glue because it does go a long way and it grabs and dries really fast. Um, so I do use that a lot, but anyways, moral of the story is it's your art journal. You do whatever you want with it. And hopefully you found some inspiration. Have a great day, guys.